Hello, friends. What do you say we get Rybash done? Let's create that bash patch. Rybash is a tool that can be used to install and manage mods, but for our purpose, it can be used to merge leveled lists. So let's do it. So there's some notes here. This first one doesn't concern us because uh, this is a fresh install Lexi's guide. We're not updating. Um, another note, do not run loot past this point. If you have to rerun loot for an update, disable all finish line elements from Rybash onward. So keep those in mind. So we got some setup instructions here. So first thing we're going to do is add an argument. So click on the little gears up here, right y'all. Boom. Locate Rybash. Okay. And here's the arguments field right here. So copy these. Unless your file path to your Steam library is so different from this one. But mine is pretty much, pretty. this this works for me. So I'm going to copy all this from the dash before this O all the way to the final quotation mark here. Copy. Go to arguments. Paste. And I'm going to replace drive letter with my drive letter. Which is C. But yeah, basically you're going to put your file path to your Steam library in between in quotations. And add dash O in front of it. Dash O space file path. All right, click apply, okay. And in your mod organizer to install full locate and open the mods folder. No, we're not gonna do it that way. This is how we can do it. Copy, bash, patch, copy, not the quotations. Go into mod organizer 2, click on the tiny wrench and spanner, create empty mod, paste, boom, okay. And basically what we did with Nemesis. So now, well, let's go and activate it. Monitor's whale. So, in order to press the executables button again, boom, go to right bash. There it is. And right here, create files and mod instead of override. So tick that box, click on this and locate bash patch, the, the empty mod we just created. So this is an alphabetical order, so it shouldn't be too bad. There it is, bash patch, apply, okay. And now we're gonna actually do it. We're gonna do it. Make sure to activate bash patch, we have. And now let's uh, let's get to it. Let's build this bash patch, what do you say? So in the drop down here, let's locate Rye bash. There it is, click run. Okay, once this is uh, loaded, let me uh, bring it over here. And bash patch. It says locate bash patch uh, 0.exp. That should be towards the bottom. There it is right there. And we're going to right click on that sucker. And we're going to click rebuild patch. Boom. And you get this window. Let's expand this because it could be kind of claustrophobic looking. So in options list that appears, that's this right here. Ensure that only the following have check marks. So we want import actors, yes. Go down to AI packages, mm-hmm. Death items, factions, perks, spells, import cells. Uh, we don't want import destructibles checked, so keep on going. Um, the next one we want is import, okay, import cells and then import graphics. So we don't want stats and enchantment stats. Okay, so graphics, yes. Inventory, keywords, names. Object bounds. We don't want outfits. So races, races, spells, import relations. No, uncheck that box. Import sounds, import uh, spell stats. No, uncheck import spell stats. We want import stats, import text, tweak actors. Leave that unchecked. Tweaked. We don't want to uh, tweak assort, assorted. Uncheck that box. So tweak races, leave it unchecked. Tweak settings, we do want checked. Um, contents checker, no, uncheck that. Leveled list. Let's see, make sure remove empty sublist is unchecked. So, okay. Remove empty sublist. Okay, let's revert to this. So click on level lists, make sure it's checked and make sure this box over here is unchecked. Good. And then, oh, and we don't want time skill checker. Uncheck that box. Good. All right, now click on tweak settings right there. And then the following settings are recommended, but can be set otherwise. If so, choose, if you so choose. All right, click on each setting listed to set the value indicated. So first things first, we're gonna go to AI Max Active Actors. Here it is, AI Max, boom, Active Actors. We're gonna set this to 40. So right click, and we're gonna set it to custom. So here, 40, I say 40. Boom. Oh, uh, my number pad wasn't active. Okay. Boom. So right click, go to custom, set this to 40. Okay. 
arrow speed, locate arrow speed, right click. And we want it to set to 1.4. All right, next up, combat max actors, right here. We want to set this to 30. So right click, 30, very good, very good. Crime alarm distance, let's locate that. Crime alarm distance, right click. And we're gonna set this to 1200. So we're gonna just set this to custom. Then one, two, zero, zero, okay. There we go. All right, world, uh, world time scale. So that's gonna be towards the bottom. Or not, I totally lied. Oh, no, it is at the bottom. No, no, I totally told the truth. Uh, right click, I'm gonna set this to 15. So let's go to custom, one, five, okay. Uh, ensure that there are check marks next to the following settings. Basically what we just uh, messed with. So out of all of this, um, if I do decide to mess with anything else, it's uh, the amount of training you can do, I guess. Because, you know, default game, you get like five skill points to train. Sometimes I like to mess with that. I set it to like 20. <laughs> well, okay, whatever. Anyways, once you've done that... At the bottom of the interface, click Build Patch. All right. So once all that is set, click this button here. And um, this could take some time. So um, just wait, be patient. It may seem like it hung, but just let it do its thing. Yeah, buddy, that took a while. <laughs> okay, after that, just click OK right here. Boop. Activate. Yes. And then you can go ahead and close out Rybash. And there you go. There's your new bash patch. Isn't it cute? All right, next up, uh, let's go ahead and install the bash override. This mod fixes some mistakes when generating the bash patch. There's some changes done or some things done in the bash patch that we don't want. And Lexi fixed it. So let's go ahead and get, download it. Files. And uh, where, where is it? It's in the main section, bash override. Okay. Oh, it's the very first file. Good. Automatic download. Click on the download tab right here, and there you are. All right, let's install it. No, we don't want to call it that. Drop down, and it'll be called Lexi's Legacy Dreadboard Bash Override. All right, good. Let's activate that. Let's clear out this old stuff. Delete install downloads. All right, cool. All right, guys, I'm going to leave this video at that. Nice, short, and sweet. If you don't take into account how long it took to create that bash patch. But in the next video, we're going we're gonna to do synthesis. All right, guys, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.